Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What a joy to gather once again to worship Jesus, to worship our Father, and to be led by His Spirit to worship Him every time we gather. Hallelujah. I know you've been waiting for this day, and Abba Father has been waiting to hear our voice together. And let this be our heart's desire that we're not going to settle for anything lesser than His glory. As Moses said, show me your glory. We know that His glory dwells in us. Hallelujah. Let your glory fill this house Let your praises fill our hearts Let each vessel offer unto you A sacrifice of praise
Come breathe upon me, breath of God. Breathe upon me, Spirit of the Lord. Breathe afresh as I lift my hands in surrender to your name. bringing change, bringing turnaround. Receive your miracle right now. Receive healing right now. Receive inner healing right now. Deliverance right now. In the name of Jesus, the name that is high above every other name. Hallelujah. There is healing in Jesus' name. There is salvation in Jesus' name. There is deliverance in Jesus' name. No other name but the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Just worship the Lord. Just lift up your voices right now and bless Him. Bless Him. Bless Him. For we are yielded. We are yielded to your Spirit. Holy Spirit, continue to lead us. We are your sons, O oh God. 
We are led by your spirit. They're just speaking the heavenly language right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. Worship you, Lord. Worship your name above every other name. The name of Jesus. We just come to you as we are. You change our hearts. You change our lives. You make us like Jesus. Lord, I come to you. Let my heart be changed. Renew, flowing from the grace that I found in you. Lord, I've come to know the weaknesses I see in me will be stripped away by the power Like an eagle 
the power of your love. Hallelujah, your love changes us, O oh Lord. Your word says perfect love casts out every fear. And the love of the Father has been shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, living God. We worship you, Jesus, for you are beautiful, you are lovely. There is none like you, oh my Lord. Let's all tell Jesus this morning. You are beautiful beyond description to marvelous for words to wonderful for comprehension like nothing ever seen or heard who can grasp your infinite wisdom who can fathom the depths of your love you are beautiful beyond description majesty and throne above To marvelous for words, to wonderful for comprehension, like nothing ever seen or heard. Who can grasp your infinite wisdom? Who can fathom the depths of your? description majesty and throne above
right now. His glory presence is transforming everything in you and around you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be blessed. Be strengthened. Rejoice in the Lord. He loves you. No one else loves you like Jesus loves you. You are precious. Receive His touch. Receive it right now. Welcome to our Saving Grace family. Thank you for joining with us for our Friday celebration service. We hope you enjoyed worshipping Jesus with us. If you are joining us online for the first time, we would love to get in touch with you. Kindly fill in your details on our Connect form that is available on our website, our team will reach you and pray for you. Anyone requiring prayer support can submit your request on our website. Our intercessory team will pray for your needs. You can also send in your testimonies. Your story will be an inspiration to many. Stay connected during the week through our various growth groups, nearest to your community. Contact us for more information on the schedules. 
For more information, visit our website, or find us on our social media platforms. You can also reach us on our official WhatsApp number, plus 971 58 562 2984. Good morning, church. I'm so glad to connect with you. And we had an amazing time of praise and worship, powerful praise and worship. And you know, when when there is an atmosphere of anointed worship, you know, going on, demons flee because you know God inhabits the praises of His people. And I like something, you know, in Second Kings chapter three and verse fifteen, the scripture. It's not on your screen, but I want to share it. But now bring me a minstrel. And it came to pass when the minstrel played and that the hand of the Lord came upon him. This was requested by Elisha. And you see, when the anointing came, when the music was played, when the worship leader came in, in, in the presence of Elisha, and Elisha, what happened is that he started, he started speaking. So the hand of God came over Elisha. And I declare over each one of you today, even as you have worshipped the King of Kings and the Lord of God, the anointing of the Lord is over each one of you. I take authority in the name of Jesus and break every fear, every confusion, every sickness. I bind and I cast it out in the name of Jesus Christ. You have been set free to hear the word of God, to walk in victory. Hallelujah. So we learned that God will move when you and me start praising the Lord. Worship leaders, you are in demand. I want, I want each one of us to be a worship leader. It doesn't matter how you sing you know, how your voice is, whether you have instrument or no instrument. You know, I sing, maybe not in tune, but I sing the loudest in our house and I sometimes bring the house down with my loud worship. So today, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lord is right there around you. The presence of His Spirit is with you. Hallelujah. So, before, before we get into our sermon. The title of my sermon is Avoid Addictive Obsessive Relationships. Before we go into that, I want you to take this opportunity and to click on that chat box where you have an opportunity to invite your friends, relatives. Do it right now because this word may touch someone's life who's going through a difficult challenge. If you are on the YouTube, you have an option to invite people. Do it right now. I'm waiting for you. Do it right now because this word is going to set someone free. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So when we learn from the word of God, what happens is that we walk in our breakthroughs. Hallelujah. So let's do our Bible confession. Hold your Bible. This is my Bible. What God is, the Word of God is. What God can do, the Word of God can do. God cannot lie. The Word of God cannot lie. The Word of God is the will of God. The Word of God is the voice of God. The Word of God produces faith in my heart. The Word of God produces hope in my mind. Today, I boldly declare Jesus is the Lord of my life. Therefore, I am what the Bible says I am. I have what the Bible says that I can have. I can do what the Bible says that I can do. Holy Spirit, help me and speak to me. I choose to receive God's word as bread for today and as seed for my tomorrow. I will never be the same again. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, one of the prayer 
that Jesus prayed is that to his heavenly father that keep them away from evil one. He knew, he knew the evil one will continue to prowl around us trying to devour someone. So today we are going to understand the relationships. Uh, first of all, let's understand the relationship between our Father, between Jesus, between us and them, so that we can handle the earthly relationships here successfully. Hallelujah. So Jesus initiated a relationship with each one of us. And he wants to keep us close to himself, so close that he can trust us with his kingdom strategies. And today, you are going to learn it so that you would walk in victory and you'll help others to walk in their breakthroughs. So I want you to take a fresh look at what he told his father about his relationship with us. And that's why we are looking at John chapter 17 and verse 6. I have manifested your name to the men whom you have given me out of the world out of the world you your name was selected by the heavenly father and then given to jesus can you understand how important you are they were yours you gave them to me and they have kept your word hallelujah so jesus he intends to protect and sustain this relationship to do so, he continues to give us the words of life that his father gives to him. Our part, now we have our part to do, is to follow him and receive his words eagerly. Let's look at John chapter 17 and verse 8. For I have given to them the words which you have given me, and they have received them and have known surely that I came forth from you and they have believed that you sent me. Jesus kept talking about his relationship with his heavenly father. He kept talking about the work that he does. He kept talking about, you know, the glory that, that he continued giving to his heavenly father. I want you to know here something very, very powerful is that he came to teach the word and only the word of God can set us free. Hallelujah. Let's look at what else therefore our guiding principle for spiritual warfare should be maintaining a healthy relationship with the father son and the holy spirit because when we have a healthy relationship with them we don't need any artificial relationship here so that we can move ahead hallelujah let's look at the scripture john chapter 17 and verse 9 i pray for them jesus he prays for those whose heavenly, you know, his Abba Father has given it to him. He prays for each one. See how committed he is. I do not pray for the world. He doesn't pray for others. But for those whom you have given me, for they are yours. You and me, we belong to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Jesus came for us and he is praying for us at this time also. Hallelujah. How did Jesus make God known to us? very very powerful as father the jews had known god as yahweh for 14 centuries but the only person who could introduce him to us you know as father was his son jesus very powerful let's look at the scripture john chapter 17 and verse 11 holy father keep through your name those whom you have given me that they may be one as we are one hallelujah hallelujah so we see our relationship with our heavenly father is ongoing it's active the more we hear the word of god the more we study the word of god the more we walk in the word according to the word of god our relationship is getting stronger and stronger being established hallelujah hallelujah so i want you to know here something that happened i as i bring to you you know what exactly happened on good friday and matthew chapter 27 verses 45 to 51 you know this united relationship went into a shaking 
I want you to know here. Because if you read the scripture from the sixth hour, that is midday, until the ninth hour, that is three in the afternoon, darkness had come over the whole world. Can you believe this? And that's the time when Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani. What does that mean? My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Now we see here that all the people around him interpreted it as he's calling Elijah, I think so. You know, they started doing things and started mocking him. Call him, call him, he'll save you. But look at this point of time. I want you to remember this every day of your life, not only on Good Friday. Hallelujah. For the first time in the history of the universe, the Son of God prayed, but Father did not answer him. Father did not look at him. God averted his eyes from his Son. Hallelujah. Look at the, look at the pain. Look at the pain. God stopped his ears at, at the cry of Jesus. You know, I want you to know here that Jesus cried in, in Aramic language. You know, that's the language that he had learned. He had spoken when he was child. You know, I always go to my native language when I want to be very, very comfortable. And I know how Jesus must have cried out. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We see here the attitude of God, the Father toward Jesus had to be the attitudes of God holiness towards our sin now what was there on the cross was not the sun it was our sin our shame our pain our sickness everything that god did not want to see in our life was hanging there hallelujah now the refusal of fellowship is a complete and absolute rejection jesus did not endure that for his own sake, but rather to make a, himself a sin offering. I want you to know here, his people rejected him, his disciples rejected him, men rejected him, God rejected, his heavenly father is no more. I want you to know this, that he went through a complete rejection. Heavenly father turned his face because you know, I, I always thought God himself sent him. But you see, the holiness of God, it was difficult for him to, to look at Jesus. What an awful darkness. What an awful. Think of the loneliness. Think of all, all that Jesus did and he was abandoned. Think of it just for you and me. Jesus drained drained the cup of rejection to its bitter, bitter drinks. I want you to know here that Jesus bore our rejection on the cross, along with all the shame, guilt, along with betrayal, along with agony, hallelujah, and heartache, so that we might experience his acceptance. The opposite of rejection is acceptance. Hallelujah. He did all that so that you and me would be accepted. And what do we see? Look at the scripture in Matthew 27, 51. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. What does that simply mean? It simply means that the barrier between God and man had been removed. Do not listen to any of those religious things that tries to put a barrier between us and God. You know, he has paid the price for all your sins because when he sat with his heavenly father there in heaven, it is already done. Jesus said it is finished, it is over. So nobody can trap us by saying that I'm unworthy, I'm not good enough. You and me, we need to know this, what Jesus went through. The rejection of his father was more than Jesus could bear. But thank God, the result for us is direct access to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What does God say? Come, welcome, welcome my son. Come back to him. So when we enter his presence, we enter as 
sons and daughters. Hallelujah. We have a covenant relationship. I'm going to give you an opportunity to receive Jesus as your personal savior. Because if you don't have covenant relationship, you do not enjoy that intimacy with God your Abba Father with Jesus, with the Holy Spirit, and He prays for us. I want you not to miss on that. So if you know, if you understand the relationship of divine relationship of the Trinity, you would be able to handle the relationship here on the earth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Avoid, avoid addictive, obsessive relationships. Why? Because an emotional handicap can create dependency on Robo Shandana. Today, even as I'm speaking, the Holy Spirit is showing you those crutches in your life. You are depending on them. On many different levels, relationships can become crutches. Crutches. I want you to know here, if you are becoming increasingly dependent upon anything other than God to create a sense of wholeness in your life, then you are abusing your relationships. I want you to know this. It's not only those, the substance, you know, that you use to abuse your body, abuse yourself, you know, because it keeps you numb. Sometimes these crutches, it keeps you, you know, addicted to them so that you do not move ahead. You think that you're not capable, but you know, need to remember the heavenly father has invested Jesus in your life. And Jesus is still praying for you. Jesus is still waiting for you. Hallelujah. Let's look at what happens when Jesus speaks to this Samaritan woman. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Here we see John chapter 4 and verse 18. For you have had five husbands. <laughs> I want you to know, you know, Jesus never wasted time with people. Any bad tree, if it has to be rooted out, you know, in what he did to the fig tree. Now he was doing it to this woman. He was putting an ax to the root, the cause problem in her life. And he says to her, and the one whom you now have is not your husband. In that you spoke truly, you have five husbands. Now you're living in relationship with the sixth husband. What do we see here? She is desperate. She is running from one relationship to another. Why? Because of, you know, that emotional fulfilling. She will never be satisfied because we are not created to satisfy someone else. Only God can satisfy, only His love can fill that void, that pain, that emptiness in our life. Hallelujah. Here we see, avoid, avoid. That's why today you're studying, avoid addictive, obsessive relationship. Clinging to people is far different from loving them. Understand this. It is not so much a statement of your love for them as it is a crying out of your need for them. Like lust, it is intensely selfish. It is taking and not giving. Love is giving. God is love. Hallelujah. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Hallelujah. That whosoever believes in him, whosoever, whosoever, whatever background that you are, whatever sin, whatever relations, fifth husband, sixth husband, whatever, whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This is the love. Love is giving. That's what God demonstrated to you and to me. Hallelujah. Jesus can heal a broken or torn heart. Why? Because he carries an anointing. Luke chapter 4 and verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Please look at that scripture on the screen and declare it. It's very powerful because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set liberty those who are oppressed. I want you to know here, divorce is not merely separating listen to me very carefully it is the tearing apart of what once was joined together and whenever something is torn it does not heal easily families are broken children grow up 
in in a background where they are so insecure and we see things just changes in a day's time in a minute's time why because satan has already convinced that this is the solution to all our problems cut it off this is what he came to to steal to kill to destroy and that's what the anointing of jesus is what is that anointing that to anoint and heal the broken hearted one of the great healing balms of the holy spirit is forgiveness today release the forgiveness release it right now unconditionally i may not know what you went through but the holy spirit knows every detail of your pain today is your time i want you i want you right now to release that person to forgive that person hallelujah maybe it's your father who left you maybe it's your mother who who abandoned you i want you to release them i want you to forgive them maybe it's a boss who fired you maybe it's your it's your wife who you know left you maybe it's it's a husband who has separated from you because he fell in love with someone else i want you to know that that jesus is healing your heart right now it is impossible to inhale new air until you exhale the old i pray that god would give the grace of releasing where you have been so you can receive what god has for you now i want you to exhale and then inhale uh, I, I, I want you to do this exercise so that you will know exactly what it means. Because if you hold that breath, if you don't exhale it, you cannot take fresh breath. You will die. You need to expel those things which is not needed. Hallelujah! So, don't allow the enemy to plug into you. Ephesians chapter four and verse twenty-seven. Neither give place to the devil. Hallelujah! You see. Eve should have handled Satan. She should have told him to get out. No, but she gave him place. Do not give place to devil. Hallelujah. Anything that comes, any mood that is not in agreement with God's word is Satan trying to plug into the earthly realm through your life. Mood swings. Now I'm good. Now I can speak to people. otherwise i close myself don't talk to me keep me leave me alone you know you need to be very careful satan wants you to believe you cannot change he loves prisons and chains statesmen like this is just the way i am or i am in terrible mood today comes from the lips that accept what they ought to reject you need to expel it exhale it out do not receive it from the evil one the liar hallelujah never allow yourself to settle for anything less than the attitude god wants you to have in your heart hallelujah don't let satan have your day your husband or your home eve could have put the devil out isn't it that's what the bible is teaching us today do not give him a foot do not allow him a little bit of entrance in your life the reason we have been given holy spirit is because we can be wrong holy spirit guides us holy spirit reveals the truth holy spirit teaches us he is our teacher holy spirit takes us closer to the king of kings and the lord of lords the most frustrated people in the world are people who are doing what god has not told them to do you see you when when it happens then we lack supply we lack provision and what happens is that we become you know defocused we are not on the path which god has created for us we are weak today Today hallelujah ek hasan dana rabari hende no the lord is setting you free the lord is setting you free acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him hallelujah you know under the anointing he he did 
signs wonders and miracles he was so relational he he said that woman with five has been the sixth relationship you know he set her free and what did he set her for for kingdom he has a kingdom strategies discussed he discussed it with this woman and he turned her to be the greatest evangelist she went about and brought the whole village to jesus the root cause is what he handled he spoke the word of god and he set her free today you are being set free from those relationship you know you're so addictive in the morning you get up you want to see the message you want to speak to that person lord is setting you free and if you have been rejected lord is asking you to move out of that relationship hallelujah rejection can be defined as a sense of being unwanted you desire people to love you yet you believe that they do not you want to be part of a group but you feel excluded somehow you are always on the outside looking in many times it happens right so you and me we need to not dwell on rejection but come to the place of acceptance hallelujah and for that i'm going to give a small example you know my brother younger brother manish he met with an accident several years back and uh, it was on the road and he was thrown from the from the vehicle that he was traveling and you know when he was brought to the hospital i was just standing there and he came with you know all the glass pieces pierced completely all over his face and body everywhere and he was bleeding and i was thinking at that time you know can somebody stop that because the bleeding was terrible the whole bed was full of of blood and i was in tears i i wanted i wanted it to be it to be healed quickly somebody to put bandage somebody to but you know something my dear brothers and sisters he had to be taken to their operation theater and every small glass piece every glass piece had to be removed before the bandage could be put before the ointment can be applied why because if the glass piece remains it would fester inside and today today the lord is setting you free so that all that is inside would come out in the name of jesus i declare it to be bound and cast out every crutches i command it to be uprooted from the lives of people today hallelujah hallelujah rikashan de no 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 body khandana you know we are just putting the dressing of religion over every wood it is not that we need to ask the holy spirit to intervene and reach out to that something that is stuck within to come out so that the balm of forgiveness when you apply it would bring forth great great and great and mighty reward hallelujah jesus thank you lord thank you jesus i want you to read one scripture here and it it is so powerful in isaiah we see that god painted a, a beautiful picture of condition you know people who were rejected how did he saw them he saw them in and we see here you are do not be afraid you will not suffer shame do not fear disgrace see look at this how the lord is comforting his people israel through isaiah you will not be humiliated i'm i'm speaking to each one of you you will not forget the shame you will forget the shame of your youth and remember no more the reproach of your widowhood for your maker is your husband jesus has set you free so that you have access to your husband the lord almighty is his name the holy one of israel is your redeemer what a powerful scripture he is called the god of all the earth the lord will call you back as if you were a wife deserted and distressed in spirit a wife who married young only to be rejected says your god hallelujah many 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 we see have gone through this pain especially we see here you know the the scripture here you will not suffer shame you will not be humiliated i want you to know here that jesus took it all you know you can you imagine a wife a, a wife deserted and distressed in spirit a wife who married young only to be rejected you know what is her pain what is her rejection 
I want you to know that and God is calling us back today. God is calling and he is promising that you will not suffer it. You will not remember it. You will not go through it. So forget it. This is a principle I want you to learn here. Isn't a memory lapse. It is a memory release. Like carbon dioxide, the body can no longer use. That's what something else goes in, oxygen goes in the carbon dioxide, which you don't need it comes out. You understand? If you don't release that, how will the, how will the oxygen go in? You, you need to understand, exhale it and let it go out of your spirit. Hallelujah. It is not enough to reject the enemy's plan. You must nurture the word of the Lord today. You have heard the word. Believe that word. Obey that word. You need to draw the promise of God and the vision for the future to your breast. It is a natural law that anything not fed will die. I have seen a baby, you know, held at the breast. The baby forgets everything. She can hear the heartbeat of the mother. She feels so comforted. She feels so secured. You know, it is well nourished. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, hold on to the word of God. You will feel so good, or so secured, so strong. Be sure you're nurturing what you want to grow and starving what you want to die. Stop. Cut off those relationships from your life. Delete those unvoid, unvo uh, unneeded numbers. Delete it right now in the name of Jesus. Take your mobile. Take your mobile right now. Remove those numbers. Hallelujah. And today I'm going to ask you to say a prayer. Those who have never received Jesus Christ as their personal savior, I want you to touch that bar and receive Jesus as their personal savior and walk into your covenant relationship as son and daughter. And those who have gone through this rejection, I want you also to join in. Please, I have put this prayer on the screen. I want you to be the part of the best family, the family of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Look at this. I want you to say this prayer. And I'm going to wait for everyone to join in. If you haven't touched that bar to receive Jesus, please do that. And all those who are going through rejection, please be part of this so that you walk out of such crush. No more you will need this crutches. You have been set free. Abba. I thank you that you love me, that you gave Jesus, your son, to die on my behalf, that he bore my sin, that he took my rejection, that he paid my penalty because I come to you through him. I am not rejected. I am not unwanted. I am not excluded. You love me and I am your child. You are my father. I belong in your family. I belong to the best family in the universe. Heaven is my home. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Lord, I bless each one of them, Lord, who have prayed this prayer, oh Lord. Today, oh Lord, every barrier has been broken, oh Lord. They have access to you Today, O oh Lord, Father, even as they have called you Abba, their heavenly dad, O oh Lord, Father, that you will comfort them and you will fill that voidness in their life with your love. Holy Spirit, minister, minister to each one, each one, Lord, so that no one will live in addictive and abusive relationship. Holy Hasadana. Lord, I pray, Lord Father, no more obsessive relationships. No more. The enemy will steal from your children's life, oh Lord Father. Because Jesus, what you have done for us, no one could do. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I set everyone free. I bless everyone, oh Lord Father. Every need in their life to be met in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. I bless them, oh Lord so that they would be a mighty blessing to many, O oh Lord Father. They are anointed children, O oh Lord Father. No more they will live in any guilt, pain, shame, fear. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. But they will be confident that they are your children, O oh Lord. They are seated with Christ Jesus in the heavenly 
Jesus. I speak a blessing over each one of them. God bless you. Communion is the remembrance of what the Lord Jesus has done for us on the cross, and sharing this with the fellow members of the body of Christ whenever we come together in his name. Partaking of the communion is only for the disciples of Jesus. Kindly get your elements of bread and juice ready for partaking the communion with our church. We will shortly partake together once pastor prays over the elements. Praise the Lord Church, we have come to a very important segment of our service and that's communion. It gives us an opportunity to abide, an opportunity where the exchange happens. You know, Jesus walked into a church service and he saw a woman, 18 years, she was bent and it was a Sabbath day. And he decided to set her free. Because, you know, he just can't tolerate anyone living in bondage. And he called her daughter of Abraham. I want you to know this. He gave her so much of importance. He called her daughter of Abraham. Now, today's word you heard, we have a covenant relationship with Amen. We are the sons and daughters of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. That access is given to us. The password we can operate it. And today, even as you partake of this precious bread and cup, remember all that Jesus did for each one of us. And exchange faith exchange healing exchange breakthroughs prosperity it's all to do with exchange he said jesus said i became poor so that you will be rich he exchanged it everything that we can exchange is available through the sacrifice of jesus so even as you hold this element the new covenant that jesus cut it and that's the access that he Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for this precious sacrifice, O oh Lord. Lord, you have taken every condemnation, every curse, you took it over yourself. And today, even as we partake from this communion, O oh Lord, the new covenant of what you did with your disciples, and today you're doing with each one of us, O oh Lord Father. You are right now, you're with us. And in your presence, through your spirit, we partake of it. And we declare, O oh Lord Father, that we will see your glory, Lord. We will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of living. I pray and I declare, O oh Lord, healing, healing to be released. All those who are sick and weak in their bodies, oh Lord, healing to be released in the name of Jesus. Lord, provision to be made in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the cross. Thank you for your sacrifice. We bless you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's partake of what he has done for us bread and his precious blood. God bless you. Let us worship the Lord through our giving. Please use an envelope to give your tithes, offerings, free will contributions and also mention the date on the envelope. 
If you desire for the envelope to be collected, contact us on WhatsApp. Kindly note that this is strictly for private circulation only within Saving Grace members in the UAE and overseas. Thank you Lord. I know Saving Grace family is all cheerful givers. I can see the joy. It's powerful to give. You know, Bible says uh, in, 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 I, you know, there are a couple of things that comes to my mind at this moment. First is give and it shall be given unto you. <laughs> the only way to receive is to give, right? So when we cry, God, please give me, please give me, please help me. The Lord says, please help me also. You give so that I can give it to you, right? Even as we heard today's word, Jesus came to set us free. And I believe even as you give to the Lord, our best offering, what belongs to him, our first fruit, you will see mighty breakthroughs in your life. I have an, I have an opportunity to give to the Lord. I'm very happy and I'm sure each one of you are happy. I'm going to bless your giving. Lord Jesus, I want to thank you, Lord Father, for speaking to us. The exchange that you did for us on the cross, you have set us free, O oh Lord. And today, Lord Father, as your people give to you, Lord Father, you will give them back in return. Lord, this is a connector, O oh Lord Father. We pray and we declare an open window of heaven, O oh Lord, and surplus flowing in the lives of your people. Because when you give, O oh Lord Father, there's always left over. And I pray, Lord Father, every loan to be cancelled, Lord, that you will be able to bless your children so that they would pay off every debts. Lord, I pray, Lord Father, that promotion, increment, and bonuses to be released, O oh Lord. Jobs to be released, O oh Lord. Visas to be released, O oh Lord. Documents to be released, O oh Lord. Legal cases to be cleared, O oh Lord, Father. I pray and I declare it, O oh Lord, Father. Lord, houses to be released, O oh Lord. The cars to be released in the name of Jesus. Lord, fees to be paid, Lord. You will provide, O oh Lord. Admissions that has to be done, O oh Lord, Father, in the colleges, in the universities, the school. You will help the parents, O oh Lord, Father. I pray for provision as your people step in to give that you will give back to them thank you lord father that we could we could bless churches a lot we could bless pastors a lot we could bless widows a lot we could bless so many needs in the church a lot father lord we speak a lot blessing back to those who have been blessing a lot father who have been who have been standing in gap a lot father who have been, Lord, obeying your word, O oh Lord. We speak a blessing, O oh Lord, to their accounts, O oh Lord. Blessing to their salaries, O oh Lord. Blessing to their families, O oh Lord. Blessing to their jobs, O oh Lord, Father. We speak protection, O oh Lord, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for each one of us. You have given us an opportunity to give to you cheerfully. I bless everyone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. we have come to an end of the service and I want to thank Holy Spirit for helping us each one of you I want to thank you for connecting and we continue to appeal to you please share the, the messages the links on social media please do it so that people would be blessed and even as we have heard the word of God walk in victory walk in in your breakthrough so let's close the service with prayer i want you to join with me i want you to lift your hands up lord jesus we want to thank you lord father for this wonderful time that we could spend with each other and in your presence oh lord for the powerful worship oh lord father 
for the word that came so powerfully, Lord. Lord, for the communion that we could have with each other and with you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving us an opportunity to bless the kingdom of God by giving and we are so grateful, Lord. Today there are mighty breakthroughs. There are many miracles, oh Lord Father. I pray, Lord, testimonies to be to be right now released, oh Lord. I pray and I declare, Lord, healing, healing to every COVID patient. Lord, all those who are serving, oh Lord Father, at the, at the hospitals, oh Lord, in, in, in emergencies, oh Lord, at the airport, Lord. I speak a blessing, Lord, over every person, oh Lord Father. I speak a blessing over every one, oh Lord Father. Lord, those who are working, Lord, I pray, Lord Father, that you'll secure their job, Lord, you'll favor them, oh Lord Father. Even as they travel, Lord, journey mercies to each one, cover them with precious blood. I pray for jobs to be released, oh Lord, those who are waiting for jobs, oh Lord, those who are between two jobs, oh Lord Father, I pray and I declare offer letters to be released in the name of Jesus. Lord, I speak a blessing of businessmen and businesswomen, oh Lord Father, you'll favor them. They'll be at the right place at the right time, they'll not lose any opportunity, oh Lord Father, to walk in their breakthrough, preferential treatment, oh Lord Father, for each one of them, for your glory, oh Lord Father. I bless the government, oh Lord, the authority, the initiatives that they have taken, oh Lord Father, Lord, to help people, oh Lord. I speak a blessing over every plan, every decree that is passed, oh Lord, in, in the favor of your people. I bless all the churches, all the pastors, Lord. I bless, bless Saving Grace Church, oh Lord. I bless Apostle Donald, oh Lord. I bless the eldership team, the pastoral team, the, the every member. I speak a blessing. I speak a blessing over everyone who is connected from far and near. Oh Lord. Lord, you know every heart's cry, oh Lord Father. Lord, today, oh Lord, today release, release, release signs, wonders and miracles in the name of Jesus. I prophesy over their life, oh Lord Father, that they would walk in victory in the name of Jesus. Lord, there would be a financial breakthrough today, oh Lord Father. Today in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, that you will release, oh Lord, all that they are asking for. I may not know, but you know it. Holy Spirit, stir, stir over their heart, oh Lord. Hover over their hearts, oh Lord. Hover over their needs, oh Lord. Hover over darkness, oh Lord. So there would be light, provision, Lord, intervention, heavenly, heavenly intervention. Send angels, oh Lord. Those who are sick on their bed, I speak healing, 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 healing in the name of Jesus. Those who who are in pain, oh Lord, right now, bind that pain in the name of Jesus, uproot it from your life and set you free. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, Father, for giving us this platform. Thank you, Lord, for our lovely worship team and media team, oh Lord, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We bless them. In Jesus' mighty and most precious name, I pray, amen. May the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always till Jesus comes to receive us. God bless you. Thank you for connecting. Thank you for joining. We are glad that you joined us today. See you again next week. Wishing you a great week ahead. God bless you.